This is Scott, and welcome to The Drip, home of the 150% guarantee, where 100% of the time I'm going to be over 50% right. We've got a special 4th of July edition. This is 4th of July 2022. If you're watching this and that you're in some place and time that's after this particular date, and it's night, day, it's months from now, years from now, well, by hitting play, you have transported back to this moment. So we're all sharing this together. Yeah, man, the day that Americans down and kill 150 million dogs. Hot dogs. Yeah, Americans down 150 million hot dogs on the 4th of July. What a great holiday. It's special to be here with you guys. I'm so pumped. You know, I got a three-day weekend, got to enjoy time with some friends, family, and uh, I'll probably, I'll put a, put a little knock in a couple of hot dogs. Yeah, and if that's not good enough for you on stats, we got another one. It's the day that Joey Chestnut is known for a new world record. You may say, what's the world record? Well, he ate 76 hot dogs to win his 14th Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. They're always known for that. Nathan's is a great company. They've been making hot dogs, I think, for back in the early 1900s. But they have a hot dog eating contest. Some of you may recognize the name. Some of you may not. But 76 damn hot dogs. Wow. Wow. So, on another note here, happy birthday to the United States of America. An acknowledgement to all those that gave the ultimate sacrifice so that we could be here on this special day. God dang it, that is awesome. It may not feel like it at times, but guys, it really is. I want to give that acknowledgement to the men, women, the people that were able to Lay everything on the line. Give us what we have. And Woody Williams, I don't know if you guys have, are familiar with that name. He was the last surviving World War II Medal of Honor recipient that was alive. And he just passed away on June 30th, 2022. So just a few days ago. And as the last surviving World War II Medal of Honor recipient, he had made a statement that kind of resonated with me. And I want you guys to, if nothing else, take something from this. He said when he was being interviewed um, that people tell me all the time I'm a hero. And he said, I'm not a hero. The real heroes never came home. And guys, that's something that we should all remember. That the real heroes, they didn't come home. All right, so onward, forward, all aboard. Stamp your ticket, punch it. You do that by hitting like and subscribing to my channel. Tons of content that comes out in the future. I'm nutty. I'm all over the place. You never know what you're going to get, but I'll tell you what, we're going to make it entertaining. I've seen and been and done a few things in my life that probably weren't very entertaining and were uh, not uh, the best things to have to take part in. But you know what? Now at this point, it's about having fun. It's about building relationships on this raft, guys. Thank you for being a part of it. All right, we have a heretic knife. I've kind of had a few little shorts or a short and a picture that I kind of teased this on Instagram. And I had a few people that were like, oh man, I want to see more of this. Well, today I'm going to bring this to you. We're going to talk about it. This is for me, one of my grail knives that I own. I haven't really showcased or shown any of my grail knives per se, other than maybe one, maybe two. But this one, uh, well, as far as the company, Heretic Knives, Anthony Marfione Jr. and his wife Jessica started the company in 2015. He is the son of Anthony Marfione Sr. who started Microtech. 
I'm sure you guys are familiar with that. They've got different names for their knives. Medusa, the Wrath, the Hydra, the Colossus, the Manicore. They have OTFs that they're known for. Very decent built, nice, wonderful OTFs. They have out the side automatics. They've got all different types of things. They are a little bit more on the pricey side, kind of like a Microtech would be. So this particular blade, I believe it or not, I was watching Every Knife Has a Story, and let's get this one going. Uh, Knife Center, and that David P. Anderson guy with the middle initial, he was showing this knife off. And when I saw it, I was like, holy crap, I had never seen anything like it before. I hadn't really gotten into, I do own a Heretic uh, OTF, but I, I didn't really just get into any of their other knives. They, to me, didn't do really much for me. And then this one caught my eye. So I didn't pay much mind to it, but then I saw it come up on e-knives. I looked at it more. And guys, I uh, pulled the trigger. It's one of those things, if you've got another half, a better half, they're probably not going to be your better half after you pull the trigger on this one because a lot of money comes out of your account when you buy it. So uh, this is a custom Heretic Medusa Auto out the side. This is the box that comes in. It's pretty nice. You know, if you have seen any of the uh, Microtech boxes for like customs and stuff, this is pretty much on par with that. You kind of got to see all the info. So what I don't normally really showcase a box, but when you spend a lot of money, I mean, the box is going to be part of it. So here's the little pouch it comes in. <clears throat> comes with a cloth, and then it comes with, this is the receipt, and this little card that's signed it. So it's uh, number 24. Uh, the date of birth was May 22. I think these were uh, Blade Show 2022 exclusives. That's when they were they came out, and then the dealers got them. So, just put this back in here. Also, guys, if you're on Instagram, woo, I am too. You could follow me at KC Blade Drip if you choose to do so. If not, have a good day. Come again. All right. Here's the knife, guys. This thing. And I do like overbuilt knives, kind of a little bit larger, a little heavier. This thing is just, this is wicked. Just give you a quick little look here and then I'll go over some of the information. I haven't been able to find many people being able to do a review for these. Or actually, I haven't really seen any. So, uh, it's an auto out the side, guys, if, you know, interested. As I always tell you, just know your knife laws, what you can own, carry, have, whatever. I mean, we're pretty much all adults here, I would like to believe. So, um, so yeah, being that, it is an auto. Now, the handle itself, it's a black DLC finished titanium handle with a frag pattern on it really cool looking too all the lines on this thing and i'll admit i mean this is more or less just i carry other knives that i'll use this would be carried probably a lot I'm not sure, really, if I'd be cutting a lot with it. I'd cut just some little things. It's mainly to pull out and say, hey, man, take a look at this and show it to people. Because it's like jewelry. It's pocket jewelry. You guys are familiar with that. It, um, I just, It's one of those things that makes me feel good. I like it. So you've got a fat carbon snakeskin inlaid button up here. Let's try to see if I can get you a little bit better look at it. It's kind of hard sometimes to get it to focus in. I think you can see it pretty well. And the clip. So it's also um, a fat carbon uh, snakeskin inlaid 
here as well. Really cool. This is, now as far as the blade itself on this knife, this is a hand ground Baker Forge Damascus blade with a recurve, as you can see here, recurve edge. I love the recurve too, more than I would like the Tonto, just because I think it's, I just like the look better. But yeah, I don't know if you've seen any of the, the Baker Forge Damascus on some other knives as well, but it is just so, just so popping. I mean, it jumps out at you. It's beautiful. So the blade itself, if you look at it, look how thin that is on the top. So you essentially have a false blade up here at the top. This is very thin. It feels almost like you could sharpen this edge right here if you wanted to. I'm sure you could. So if you were to pierce something, this, in fact, even now, this I'm sure would just, it would do whatever you needed it to, to do in that, that area. Um, the Up here where you have your jumping up at the top, look at the back of the blade. Can you see the copper in there? How pretty that is, the layers. And then the jimping on the front here, which is almost a little bit sharp, but it's not gonna cut you or anything. You can just feel it's a little bit sharp up here where you rest your thumb, or I do. Nice jimping here with the back of the blade. This is gonna be a plunge lock. You guys are familiar with that. If not, this is something that would be like in a lot of Microtech knives as well, like the stitch. So you can see how it moves back, locks into place, and you've got your, your plunge that pops up, and then you push the button, and that's how you would close it. The Damascus is just beautiful with the lines up here leading to the point or the tip. Almost like, yeah, kind of like a spear point which drops down into your, your edge, which in turn moves into a recurve here. A little choil down here at the bottom. You could put your finger here to choke up a little bit if you so choose uh, to do so. Feels really good <laughs> in the hand, it should. But yeah, it. Uh, if we look at the, the handle itself, you've got some nice underneath jimping here along. This, this texture gives you some grip. You've also got the texture and the milling that's in the handle here, which is like the frag uh, pattern that they, they advertise. This gives you some texture and grip here. And then with your jimping here, as well as along your backspacer, you also have some jimping here. I wouldn't be breaking any glass with this, but you do have a lanyard hole here at the back for people that like to use a lanyard, it's plenty, you know, plenty large. Not too, uh, not too out of place. The handle kind of uh, naturally comes down to the edge and swings over in a more aggressive little look here with the, uh, the edge where it comes to a point here. So, the pivot, I mean, beautiful work of art. I'm sure that that's some special tool. I haven't seen it before. The clip, I love how it has this little ball here. It rolls on and off of your pants pocket beautifully. It doesn't tear anything up. It's nice and smooth. But when you slide up to about here, you're only going to have less than a thumb area that's going to be out of your pocket. So mainly you're just going to be showing off this beautiful clip right here. Just a few screws right here into the handle itself. Mega sharp, mega sharp. I don't believe, let's look inside it real quick, guys. I don't think there's any milling or any weight reduction, no. 
So these are just solid pieces of titanium here on the construction. Even underneath here, you can kind of see all the different patterns of your Damascus here and the layers that are available with the copper and the different steels and such that are layered up. Yeah, um, and I'll carry this. I love this knife. They did a beautiful job. I'm glad it's a part of my collection. Again, gripping this. All my fingers have area on the handle. You just got it a little short, but it, the knife feels fine like that. It really is comfortable in the hand. It's got a nice thickness, a nice little heft to it. Let's go ahead and get some measurements on this so that you guys can at least see what we're talking about on size. So it looks like the blade is gonna be about three and three and a quarter maybe. The cutting edge looks like it's gonna be three. The handle to the end of the lanyard hole is gonna be four and a half, four point, maybe seven five for an overall length of 7.75. This is the thing I'm anxious to check is the weight on this. six ounces so it's a little bit heavier for me again i like that weight look at that action snap b you can hear it you can see it reminds me kind of like thunder and lightning Centering is perfect. It should be. Blade nice and tight. I mean, you're not going to notice anything wiggling or moving on this blade. It's nice and secure. Extremely sharp. I think that's about all the things that I have discussed about this knife that I can think of. I mean, by handling, I've had it, like I said, a couple weeks. I have carried it. It's got very good components in here. Very well built. Very impressed. Hope you guys are having a safe 4th of July. Or I hope that you did. If this is sometime after the fact. It's a special day, as again, I have mentioned, we want to remember our pets, remember our vets, the little furry guys, the non-furry guys, the ones that kiss us, lick us. When we're not doing so hot, they're there for us. And then also those vets, the people, the men and women that have laid it on the line, gave their lives for us. The ultimate sacrifice and heroes. I'll have more content coming out, guys, more knife content, various different things, all different ranges. They're all knives, things that I am fascinated or that I enjoy. And uh, be a part of it. It's easy to punch your ticket, guys. I'll tell you all the time. All you got to do is hit subscribe, get notified, watch my videos. You never know what's going to come at you, what's going to be thrown, what you're going to see. I'll try to keep you guessing. And with that, guys, make sure until we meet again, stay sharp. And I'm out.